Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning, South Africa. It's time for you to get blessed. It's time for you to overcome the problems that you have in your life. Be strong. Be strong and courageous. Yes, I know. It is tough. It is difficult. Everybody seems to be against you. Circumstances all against you. But as long as you believe in yourself and you believe in God, everything will be possible for you. Be strong and courageous. My name is Lucretia Constance. I've been involved in an abusive relationship, a marriage that was full of fighting. I could not stand it anymore. Though having a house, though having all the earthly things, the material things, but this is not what I wanted. I wanted to have peace and joy in my marriage, but unfortunately it wasn't like that. It was very, very abusive. But after the, the divorce, it was quite, you know, that void, the emptiness that was there. I started looking for pleasure outside. Like now I became like more socializing, ending up partying all night, going, not like in our days, it wasn't like clubbing, but it was what they called sessions in our area. You would go dance the whole night just to try and fill this void. But it never filled any of it. It was a life like that for almost seven years. And then I was evangelized by someone, like invited. This lady had such an amazing story speaking to me. Uh, why don't you come? Come visit me. We have this spiritual treatment. And I took the offer. I went with her. And I was amazed at what was happening. And I just kept on coming. I was so moved that every chain of prayer that was there, I jumped in full body. I didn't stood back for anything. For myself, the changes immediately came because I just didn't come. I came full-heartedly that I wanted this change. My life was completely, completely transformed. And by me, I saw the light because I could become a testimony for other people because, you know, when you get divorced, it's like there's no hope. You don't want to see other men. But God changed it around completely, completely. Now I'm married again. I'm married on the altar. My marriage is 15 years. It's blessed. I've got a very good husband. God has blessed us with the construction company as well. God has just recently blessed us with the car as well. Now I'm a person that is peace, above all inner peace, by being involved in the spiritual treatments. That is of utmost importance because that is what sustains me. The secret Lucretia learned, I will share with you. Obey the word of God. Follow his advices, but obey the word of God in an intelligent way. And then definitely your life is going to change. Have your glass of water. We are going to talk to God now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless this glass of water, as well as the workers of our country, those who are looking for a job, those in jail, in hospital, whatever circumstance or barrier they are confronted with, I believe that if they put their faith on your promises, they obey your word, their lives will certainly change. I bless them all in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same God who blessed Lucretia wants to bless your life as well. Regardless of how difficult your life is being right now, remember this one thing. Jesus, he wants to help you. Give yourself a chance. Make a test. You have nothing else to lose. You are there in your house. You lost your money. You lost your marriage. You lost your dignity, even your integrity. You lost everything. Make a test and you will see that God is alive. God bless you. Until tomorrow with one more Workers' Prayer here on E5 to 6 in the morning. Bye-bye. Workers' Prayer.